Constitution Rule. Increased restrictions on illegal immigration by the United States is beneficial. Framework. If we prove that increasing restrictions on legal immigration by the United States it would be beneficial to the country, we win. President Trump embraced a proposal on when on when no, no, on to slash legal immigration to the United States in half within a decade by sharply curtailing the ability of American citizens and legal residents to bring family members into the country. Restricting legal immigration will reduce poverty, increase wages, and save taxpayers billions and billions of dollars. The new system would favor applicants who quickly who can quickly adapt to American culture, financially support themselves and their families, and demonstrate skills that will contribute to our economy, according to NPR Politics by Brian Naylor, August 2, 2017. Contention 1. Chain Migration. Increased restrictions on chain immigration are one restriction that my partner and I strongly ad advocate for. This type of restriction was seen in the bill ref referenced at the start of her case that would limit the number of foreign nationals who are able to get green cards to chain migration, currently the largest category of legal immigrants. This type of restriction is important because research would be aimed at creating a skills-based immigration system that will make America more competitive, raise, raise wages for American workers, and create jobs, not one that allows individuals to reunite with distant relatives they have never even met. Family visas are more likely to bring people who are not skilled, increase dependency on social welfare and burden the country, and consume the resources without contributing to the system. By increasing our focus on skill-based immigration and creating new restrictions around chain immigration, the United, the United States as a country will see greater economic benefits in terms of jobs created, tax revenue collected, and overall economic savings from reduced federal dependency according to the Bill of Rights Institute, contention to refugees. While we understand that accepting refugees into the country seems like the right thing to do, doing so is not beneficial to the United States as a country. Americans worry that there is a fundamental gap between American and refugee populations that makes the two incompatible. While it seems humanitarian to support them, this is not our best interest as a country because it is possible that terrorists will hide among the refugees in order to gain entry to the United States. Our opponents may argue that the risk of this is low, but we urge you to think about the magnitude of this problem. If just one terrorist enters our country as a refugee, they, should pop, they could pop potentially harm hundreds of thousands of Americans. Further proving that creating more restrictions around the number of approval process is of refugees would be more beneficial than the existing system, which leaves the United States unprotected. The current vetting system is not sufficient to ha handle thorough background checks or the re refugees from certain countries and they don't keep records of them. Contention 3, diversity visa lottery. The bill that was introduced would eliminate the diversity visa lottery, a program that gives visas to countries with low rates of immigration to the United States. The diversity visa program allows roughly 50,000 visas annually to immigrants from countries with historically low rates of immigration from the United States, according to the State Department. Applicants must either have a high school education or two years of qualifying work experience to be eligible to apply. All immigrants selected must undergo interviews at U.S. embassies or consulates and pay $330 in fees. Diversity visa brings people in with limited high school education or two years of qualifying work experience. These low-skilled immigrants would impact the American workforce by taking the jobs of U.S. citizens who already have them and those. Can we, can we just, you, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, sure. right. I have to say my conclusion. No time is oh. far enough. I can't? No. Oh. So, you, you guys know, so I just realized there's a format here. First is pro open switch four minutes. And yeah. come open switch four minutes, and then it's come a tax switch three minutes, yeah, yeah. right? Okay. You know yeah. that. Yeah, we know what to do. There's yeah. no crossfire like public speech. No, no, there is yeah. a cross. They kind of like split yeah. it in a cross okay. examination. You guys know that. That's fine. Because that's one funny. person answering, one person questioning. Right, right. It's like we should do the process between contentions and questions. It's cross examination. But there's only one person keep speaking. It's not that both interact with each other speaking. Yeah, you can't yeah. do that. You can't uh -huh. do that. Yeah, let's be yeah. formal, so right. you ask questions and all that. Sure, okay. So if you need prep time, just let me know. So you guys want to switch the order of one? Yeah, right? he wants to. Sure. Okay, so go to the door first. So. Yeah. All right.
we negate the resolution which states increasing restriction of uh, illegal immigration is beneficial. Uh, immigrants will take our jobs and lower our wages, which especially hurts the poor. Um, this is the most common argument and also the one with the greatest amount of evidence um, rebooting uh, re it. First, the displacement effects is small if it even affects uh, natives at all. Immigrants are typically attract, uh, attracted to growing regions and they increase the supply and demand sides of the economy once they are uh, once they are there, as expanding employment opportunities. Second, the debate over immigrants impacting on American wages is confined to the lower single digits. Immigrants may increase the re relative wage for, for some Americans by a tiny amount and decrease them by a large amount for the few Americans who directly compete against them. Immigrants likely compete against uh, compete most directly against other immigrants, so the effect on less skilled native-born Americans might be very small or even uh, positive. Immigrants will take our jobs and lower our wages, especially hurting. Wait, no, sorry, scratch that. Immigrants are a net fiscal cost. Related to the welfare argument is that the immigrants consume more in government uh, benefits than they generate in tax revenues. The empirics on this uh, are fairly consistent. Immigrants in the United States have a net zero impact on government budgets. Immigrants increase economic uh, inequality. In a post piketty world, the arguments that immig that immigration is increase in uh, economics inequality within nations is getting some attention. While most forms of economic inequality are increasing among people with na within nations, global inequality is likely falling due and at a historical low point due to a rapid economic growth in much of the world over the last generation. Uh, today, immigration don't assimilate like previous immigration groups did. There is a large amount of research that indicates uh, immigrants are assimilating as well as or better than previous immigration uh, Im immigrant groups, even Mexicans. The first piece of research is the National Economic Academy of Science, the NSA, uh, the yeah, the NSA. Wait, the NAS, um, sub, um, September 15, uh, 2015, book titled The uh, Integration of Immigrants into American Society. It's a through and brilliant sum summation of the relevant uh, ac academic literature on immigrants' assim assimilation. Bottom line, assimilation is never perfect and always takes time, uh, but it's, it's going very well. Immigrants are especially uh, crime prone. This myth has been around for over a century. It wasn't true. In uh, 1896, 1909, uh, 1931, 1994, and more recently. Immigrants are less likely to be incarcerated for violence and poverty uh, crimes and cities with more uh, immigrants and their descendants are more peaceful. Some immigrants do commit violence and property crimes, but on the whole they are less likely to do so. Immigrants pose a unique risk today because of terrorism. Terrorism uh, is not a modern strategy. There, are, there were a large number of bombings and terrorist attacks in the early 20th century, most of them committing in immigrants, so socialists, and their fellow travelers. Justin gets a little faster. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I was like, you, you, you guys don't have, I have time for you guys. You want uh, time for you guys? Yeah, we, okay. we don't have a... Um, okay.
Oh, you don't have a timer app? Yeah, we don't have a timer. Okay. You can use clock. Oh, That's yeah. what I was going to do, but I thought she was timing it the whole time. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I will, I will oh. notice you've only 30 seconds left. Okay. Yeah. So then I can... Um, okay. Yeah. Now we catch them, right? Yes. So do we both speak or? Wait, what, about, what about the cross X? No, no, no. There's no, 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 no. There's no cl- cross X. The cross X happens after you attack us and we attack you. Yeah. So if my speak, if no, first we second attack speaker from Hong Kong attack speech. Attack speech. Right? The pro, yeah. yeah. Now you're no, you, you don't need to talk. It's just it's one person talk. Okay. Right? Okay. So no. it's, just, it's just pro and then con and then con again and then you guys go. Yeah, there is no well one person is speaking, the other one is answering. Mm-hmm. There's only yeah. that keep asking. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Don't we just ask what? questions? No. Just cross what? examination. What? You ask questions to each I other, don't, I don't and then no, 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 no. one person asks questions, the other yeah. person answers. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. Oh, okay. Then why, then why doing this section? I only list the second speaker. What? What? No, we do the attack first. Where we just say what you did wrong and stuff like that. Okay. Right. Okay. I didn't think I was do that to say that. There's a cross There's no, you don't need to answer immediately. Okay. She just, he just keep talking, 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 and ask for three minutes. Wait, that's for, uh, that's like the attack. Yeah. That's what I understand because they only list second speaker. They didn't list the view to answer. Yeah. Should I, should we have a problem? <laughs> I don't know this format quite well. Okay, you know, I'm just going to start. Right, just like, let me just hold on one minute. Let me ask. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's use this prep time. Okay. So, let's mark every one Yeah, let's mark every one Yeah, let's mark every one Come on, This one is different. Oh, this one is different. Oh, this one is different. Oh, this one is different. Increase just, just one person keep asking, yeah. keep attacking. Wait, no, no, so is, is it me or him? No, no, yes. no. This to me is calm, second speaker. Okay. Right? So, ah. so you should be just no keep talking. Yeah, how many Three minutes. minutes? Three minutes? Yeah. Should I time it or can you? I can. Okay. okay. You can even do. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Two minutes? Uh, two minutes? Yeah. Three minutes. Oh, three. three. Okay. Yeah. Three minutes. Each one minute. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me press it. Okay. Press okay. You guys said that Immigration, uh, immigrants flock countries with generous social melf- welfare programs, which they really don't do. What they do is that they come here, they take the jobs people don't want, because some people who come here legally, the people who come here legally, they're, they don't increase welfare programs. They have a plan set, they know what they're about to do, and they're doing it correctly, therefore. And so with that, they basically, they don't increase welfare programs. And then you said, immigrants can harm the sending country if departing immigrants are highly skilled in labor. See, the thing is that right now we're talking about the top three countries. There's like China and Asia, basically. Let's put it this way. Asia, South America, and yeah, and Syria. So people, they're not really like, they're high scared, high skilled, but first they have to start from a base somewhere. So right when they come in, they're they're usually coming for education or a purpose like that. They're not just gonna walk in, get a job, and be like, woohoo, I- I'm gonna make all the money, I'm gonna steal everyone's job. That's not how it works. So then what happens is that they can do that, and yeah, they are not stealing jobs. Like very rarely are they stealing jobs. That's the thing. Like. Asia, they're like Asia. What they say is that they're model immigrants, right? It's because they know what to do. They're not stealing jobs. They're just like growing out doctors and stuff, lawyers, the things that people need more, right? Like, you're, if there's more doctors, there's more help on that force. We don't have enough doctors or lawyers. Like, you can't get a lawyer that quickly. Then there's immigration lowers income of native low-skilled workers, which on your part, they really don't do. Like, let's say the garbage man comes, right? He's 
You're gonna take your garbage and stuff. He's not gonna be fired. That's a government job. Most of the low paying jobs are usually associated with the government and they won't just fire them. They don't just hire random people. They'll make it so that it's easy to get a job with a simple income, but it's still good enough that it won't harm native workers that are low skill. And usually they're taking the jobs we don't want. So they're looking to find any work. If they want to, they'll do anything basically. Because right now they're trying to get their foot down in the mud and get money that they need to start down and everything. So that's basically what you said. Okay. Then you said increases, okay. Increasing, you said that like increasing the restrictions will also make it so that the, uh, that like they can harm the country, right? Time's up. Okay. Oh, both of them are ringing at the same time. How cool is that? It's like, is it my turn? Yeah, sweet minutes. My turn starts, wait, my turn starts now. You said that they want more doctors and more lawyers, but in order to be a doctor and a lawyer, you must have high education. As we said in our uh, pro uh, in our uh, present case, that that um, that we suggest them having high education. And you also said that uh, it said Asia, South America, uh, and Africa. Those are not even countries; those are continents. Yeah, I said. Continents. You said countries. I said broad here. Whatever you keep going. <laughs> and and after that, and after that, you said that um, in, they uh, they uh, they don't uh, they only want the. Uh, uh, the jobs that have low low income, but but doesn't that mean that they'll go into poverty? And they said you don't. They, uh, it harms the country. You uh, in your uh, pro case, you agreed that um, terrorists is a really big deal, and re refugees they can hide among the terrorists and come into the the, the come into the um, uh, the country and kill many and many of people. Uh, and you said it doesn't increase welcome welfare programs. If there, like, since welfare pro welfare programs have like a max limit, if too many, uh, if we let too many immigrants come to our country, the, the, it will obviously increase welfare programs because more people need it. And you said it very rarely. Saying the word rarely means that it still they still has a chance to actually get into the country and. It says uh, uh, you, you must start from a base. Sorry, like I know you must start from the base, but people from other countries they usually like if it, if they're called an immigrant, they start from other countries and like have their childhood in there or like just move and after that move back to there while they are actually having some money, but uh, but not that much money. That like and you say it hire random people. Uh, they don't want to hire random people. Like if if, the, if like. If the people, if they hire the people, they're not random anymore. They're their coworkers. And when you said the garbage people, they, they was like they it's low cost and all like most low cost jobs are founded by the uh, government. That's not true because McDonald's, McDonald's is a, a minimum wage job, but it's not. Uh, it's 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 founded by a private owner, so they they cannot. Uh, so that doesn't that just prove that wrong. And uh, to add on to our case, it says that uh, we said that the uh, most immigrants are not skilled. Like most immigrants are not skilled. So we want to narrow them, uh, narrow the, uh, like the, we have to narrow the pathway down so it only lets high skilled workers to benefit our country. As we said in our framework, it says that, that uh, it would be beneficial as a country. That which means that that uh, uh, it will benefit the country the most. Okay, so what's next? Pretty sure it's, it's pro. Defend. It's you guys again. Oh, there's a pro for speaker. Defend speech. So basically, against his attack, you can defend. You guys don't want to go? Yeah, the defend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So it's two minutes. You defend our kids. Okay. Um. Yep. So, um. Okay, so my speech begins now. So, as you said, um. You said that, uh, that, um. It's really hard to get high skilled immigrants, and that a lot of the immigrants that come in are 
not are like not that skilled and don't have that good of an education and you said that they won't affect um uh, that they won't affect the economy that much because okay and that they are they don't affect it much because they just take some jobs that the government employs them and um also they they don't increase the majority wages because if they come in they usually work for a cheaper price and since more people come in it increases the m number of jobs that that people am, are employing. So what happens is the people who are employing them spread out the money more so that they'll de actually decrease the wages. And also, even though the chance of a terrorist coming in as a refugee is very low, it's, there's still a risk. And sometimes you have to take a risk to prevent stuff because you see, imagine if a terrorist comes in and then you are the, oh, the terrorist won't come in and then suddenly something bad happens, then who's to blame? The government's to blame because they didn't add more security. And then also, you didn't really have much evidence on that today's immigrants are like more, are more productive than uh, immigrants from the past. And also that high-skilled immigrants are what we need because honestly, if we keep getting low-skilled immigrants in the country just pouring in, then we won't, it, that won't help. It will just in, decrease the wages for the rest of the people. And then also, if, but if we get high-skilled immigrants and limit the number of low-skilled immigrants, I don't know. Wait, is my picture over? Two minutes. Oh. So, I don't know. Yeah, you can finish the just one sentence, you can close. Oh. So, I conclude that a lot of your arguments, did, a lot of my arguments um, did not, like a lot of my arguments were, were not properly attacked by you and uh, what you said didn't really attack my arguments. No. Wait, do we have prep time right now? No. Right? Hmm? Three minutes, right? No, two minutes. Two oh, two okay. seconds. All right. Uh, you guys said there was always a uh, there's a small chance of having a uh, terrorist uh, coming into the country, right? But last time, the last time a terrorist uh, actually killed some people was by an American who had a citizenship, got everything, he was an uh, American citizen. Uh, uh, due to influence from inside the country, he, he could, uh, people can change from a good thing to a bad thing or bad thing to a good thing. So you never know, uh, whoever comes into the country could be uh, a terrorist, they could be, but they could be escaping from a country who they don't want their life, they don't want to be a terrorist, they could want to come to the US, they want to be a good person, or it could be a good person coming in from the uh, another country coming in and they could turn into a terrorist and was already an American citizen. Um, um, people also came in here, uh, um, like, like our, how our founding fathers came in, by immigration. Um, they never had any limits, they just came across, they just came across the ocean, came here, settled down here without any restriction, they didn't have to worry about anything. And um, uh, people, uh, if you restrict them off, it's, it's just, that's not what you did before, like 200, 300 years ago when people first came here. It wouldn't make any sense, it would deny the constitution. You, you technically be racist if you block off people from certain countries from coming in. 
uh, if they were uh, like terrorists or so found like um, they were uh, uh, terrorists from that country or like the chances of becoming a terrorist or are a terrorist from that country. Um, uh, third, we are all immigrants. We, can, we, we, we all come from different places. America is like the melting pot of everyone. My time starts now. Okay, so our, uh, we, um, uh, I'll give you two worlds to live in. Would you rather live in a world where, if, where like every single day refugees are coming in after that just one day, right out of nowhere, a terrorist just comes for it, hides in the uh, refugee boat and just comes in and starts shooting everybody down to the ground? Or would you rather live in, uh, live in a world where everybody is safe and sound and uh, everyone, and like, like uh, you go to sleep every single night, you know that uh, you know that people, uh, that you're safe from terrorists because the, there's more security on, uh, on, more security on the refugees. Um, okay, you would obviously go, go, go for the first, uh, second one because that is more beneficial to uh, you and uh, to the uh, country. Uh, we, uh, to, we won on the framework because we proved that the, uh, the United States would, uh, the, uh, increasing restrictions would be beneficial to the country by, uh, by, uh, because as a, a country. And also we also won on jobs because we proved that, uh, that, um, that they actually take our jobs. And we also proved that we also won on the point called high skilled immigrants. Because the high, uh, we like, because if there's low instilled immigrants, they'll take our jobs, which also uh, say, which also means that we also want our jobs. So, and also we don't want our terrorists, because life is in in reversible. That which means it's priority number one. And if uh, if like since uh because uh, so terrorists must like they must be prevented, and uh, and we also said like you guys said that it's it's a uh it's like um. It's like it's, it would be racist to uh, outright ban all the uh, all uh, like some specific co countries, but we never said to ban the ban them. We said to increase restrictions so that there will be a less chance of a terrorist coming into the uh, your country uh, and killing everyone. And also, uh, like it might be like a little more uh, a little more hassle to uh, like. Um, secure to secure uh, to um, increase restrictions, but the uh, the um the, if you see the magnitude of it, a, a little time for millions and millions of lives in America, and they all uh, and they all, uh, and if they, if if one person if, if like perhaps a terrorist, and that one person if the uh, security doesn't catch it. They would, uh, uh, it's, a secu uh, it's, it's like if the right now security doesn't catch the person, will we probably all be dead? And the and the police force will, uh, and the SWAT team will probably not catch them because if they're a terrorist, they know what's gonna happen. There, uh, and, and after that, I'm so okay. 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 <clears throat> okay. So in the end, you guys made some good points, some bad points, <laughs> but. You, we shouldn't punish everyone, let me put it that way. Like, that's the same as Hitler punishing all Jews for one treaty. He thought one person was behind it. And let me put it this way. We already have bad people in the country. Look, there are school shootings. A every single school shooting has happened by a citizen of America. Not some random guy who just came in and they were just like, Oh, you brought a gun? Okay, let's give you another gun license. That's not how it works. They didn't just do that. They simply know what they're doing. The restrictions are good enough right now as they are. And you said, like, it's a small, it's a little more hassle. No, it really isn't. Increasing immigration laws would make it so, like, let's say the Syrian refu refugees, right? You want them to die, man? Look, you're gonna kill them. They're in a battleground. It, it's the least safe country in the world right now. So, like, we can't, like, other countries aren't going to take them because they're, we, someone has to take responsibility for them. That's why we're fighting against them. It's not, it's like how, 
in World War II, everyone fought against, like, Hitler and, like, Putin, not Putin, uh, against, yeah, everyone. Everyone fought, and it was like that. No one was just like, oh, you know what, we're just gonna kill everyone. That's not how it works. They had, like, an idea, and they decided that they're gonna get rid of the bad people, not gonna kill everyone in one country. That's not how it works. Like, let, let's see, we, America's had some mistakes in life, like, We've had the, we've bombed Japan. We've, we did the interim camps here and that stuff has happened. But those were restrictions on legal immigration. They didn't want people even inside the country because they didn't trust them. But now we have that little open book of trust and people are misusing that even in this country. Like, may, may I remind you, the Parkland shooting, the one in the Sandy Wood Elementary School. Those things just happened. I'm done.